I took a trip two weeks ago last Friday to Washington, D.C. as mayor of Johnson City to discuss with a senior um, presidential advisor um, some issues. And a lobbyist got us in. Uh, we had our discussion. It was a very productive meeting. Uh, a lot of issues got discussed. We left. We had something to eat. And, we, and this lobbyist said, well, for another $10,000 a month, we'll continue to be able to lobby this position for you. And you know, I thought to me, it made me mad because I said, my lobbyist is a person I meet at Kroger's at home or the person I see at church or at Sunday school or wherever I might be. The government works for us. That's how it's supposed to work. And therefore, I've just decided I was not going to take any special interest money uh, from big corporations. I refused money from the uh, American Medical Association, the Tennessee Medical Association. I want to get there and know that I work for the people of this district straight on. And I'll tell you another little thing that I've got in the mail the other day, and, and, and I know, again, I've got these three mail-outs from Congressman Davis's office. And I know how hard I work in Johnson City to save the taxpayers' money. I work very hard. I take that, and I know that if I have to raise taxes, I'm going to have to raise taxes on people who cannot afford it. I mean, a lot of people that I see in my end of the a district up here live on a fixed income. They're elderly, and if I raise their taxes, it hits them where they've got to decide whether they can buy food or they can buy medicine. And to me, these mailers look exactly like just political uh, mailers that I did last two years ago when I ran, and it cost me over $42,000 to mail one of these out. And, and people out here working for 10 bucks an hour are paying for this. This mailer was prepared and published and mailed at taxpayer expense. I'm not going to do that. I will not do that. And I don't think Congressman Davis ought to do that either with our taxpayer dollars.